hello everyone hello <laughs> happy weekend happy friday so i want to retreat on the write-up i did in the morning about how people um restore back to factory setting like they reset you know there is this wind that blows on people when they get to Muritala Mohammed airport i don't know <laughs> there's a kind of wind I don't know if it has happened to you. I mean, I have traveled to Nigeria from different parts of the world at different times, like from Ghana to Nigeria, from <laughs> Belgium to Nigeria, from Germany to Nigeria and things like that. And there's a kind of breeze that blows on you when you get to Muritala Mohamed Airport. I don't know. Those of you that have traveled out before, please. <laughs> I don't know if you know about the wind I'm talking about. There's a kind of wind that blows on you when you get to Muritala Mohammed, when you're coming back and you're like, yes, Niger life. <laughs> you know that kind of energetic quality that we Nigerians have. You see, once you just land in that Muritala Mohammed, that wind may want to blow on you. Like, oh my, I need to ref I need to reset. It be like say <laughs> I did <need> bondage <laughs> all this way. Like I want to reset. You see, while it is good to you know feel yeah you are you are back home and all those things, there are some values that you should not reset from. You get there are some values. Yes, the wind, the wind of hey now nah, make a con chop all the amala make a con chop all the eba make a con chop all the fufu we are not miss now nah, make a con go all the party you know all the bass boots let me come <laughs> all those kind of things the energy the zeal the niger kind of spirit wants to come upon you and all that but then it's always good that you don't throw away all the good values all the good skills all the good qualities you know that you learnt while in school, that you learnt on your study, that you learnt, you know, some, some of you, you learnt a whole lot of things during your study, like how to use certain software, how to, you know, do this and that, something that is not actually already common in Africa and all that, but you just felt like, oh, well, guy, Ele yo wulo Nigeria, this one no wulo, this one no useful for you, I bet, maybe we'll go back to... No, you don't have to go back. The skill, the skill that you have, the software that you have learned, why not start, you know, seeing how it can be useful in a local way, in a local setting. Why not see how you can incorporate some of the skills? Not that you now go back to factory settings. It does not look like you didn't even gain anything during your study. I remember when I got back to Nigeria for my study in Belgium and, you know, I started like, you know, uh, trying to incorporate some of the teaching styles, teaching methodology that I observed while in Belgium and, you know, the regular thing is that when you are given assignments, some people will just be able to do copy and paste, C and P, you know. But I tried to like give an assignment that will force the student to think. But you know, some students will find it like, what's wrong with that? She's the only lecturer, you know, that kind of thing. And you want to restore back to factory setting. You give them uh, um, assignments in such a way that there is a kind of a teamwork, you know, you are building a kind of collaboration team spirit in your student, but they are not used to that kind of style. You know, the kind of style abroad where people work as a team, students work as a team, you are given an assignment that you have to work on together, you have to think, you have to collaborate. But the Nigerian style is that everybody wants to outdo everybody, everybody wants to be on their own and all kind of that. So when you come, you don't have to go back to factory setting. Yeah, not all your colleagues, not everyone will appreciate all the good things that you're trying to incorporate or bring in. But then, it doesn't mean that you have to throw it away. With time, with time, people will understand you and they will take you for that, all right? But most people, when they come back like that, bam, okay, they, some people, they don't even make effort to, 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 to bring in any new skill that they have learned. They just restore, right from Muritala Mohammed, they restore back to factory. Those ones, they know they try. 
at all. They know they try at all to, to even use anything. There, there are some people who, when they land in this university, in the department, or yeah, wherever they are working, they make effort. And then when they begin to get resistance here and there, please, hey, bros, hey, sis, this will not be Europe, or, hey, this will not be... This will not be America. They just like, ah, come on. If I want to make up for this department, or if I want to grow in this industry, I just have to restore back to factory setting. You see, they just restore back to factory setting like they never got any new skill, like they never got any new education or, you know, idea or the no broader spectrum and all those things. You see, it is always good. Initially, there will be that resistance. It's normal. Everybody resists change. Like, change <laughs> change causes agitation. Initially, people will be like, what's wrong with this one? Ah, because he just came back from US or Europe or this one. He now wants to start, you know, and say punctuality. Can you come or this one? See, the resistance will be there. But if you are persistent, if you are, you know... Yes, resolute that this is a good thing that I, you know, imbibed while studying abroad. This is a good skill that I learned. This is something that will propel us forward. This is something that will make us grow. This is something that will help us in this department. You know it's something that can help. You don't have to restore back to factory setting off before you left Niger. So please... Yes, the environment can be something else and you can decide to hold on to your values. I remember when I was, you know, I remember when I was uh, supervising some students' project and you see these students, you know, sit down to read an article and realign it with, it, with their own words. They just want to copy everything and paste and copy and paste and copy and paste without thinking, without, you know, putting a twerk without even putting their own yeah uniqueness into it and all that and then i said no you cannot just go and copy rubbish and copy 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 in a <laughs> and come and give me you know and i remember talking with a senior colleague and he said didn't you do copy and paste during your own time also and i was disappointed because i never expected that even if i did that then i had learned i had grown i had gone out i have studied outside i know better now and i should be able to help these students to be better but then people expect you to still remain the same people expect you to still use the same old formula people expect you to still you know after how many years that you have grown you have learned you have you know gotten a broader view and all those things so please people you don't have to restore back to factory setting yes the resistance will be there initially the people will not appreciate it initially but with time they will know they will see the difference that yes there's something unique there's something different about this person there's a skill that this person have that we don't have there's something that this person you know is trying to impact all right so that's it so I know I know a, a number of people have this experience, especially people in academies, people in university. <laughs> they have experience with these people resetting back. They have experience with people coming and uh, coming with all the skills, the innovation, and all those things to better everyone. So, what's your own experience like when you go to Nigeria? Do you reset back, <laughs> or you keep on with? what all the skills all the learning that you have done so let me know <laughs> bye bye